Welcome to Yoga Stretch. My name is Katie. Today we're going to talk about detachment. Now it's not that you should own nothing, but nothing should own you. Let's apply that to yoga. So if you set your intention for yoga, you need to then set aside your attachment to the outcome. You need to release it. So in other words, there's no need to be anxious or fret over the outcome. So during your yoga, you can focus on your practice and enjoy the benefits and be surprised by re reaching your goals. So let's try that today. Take a seat and join me. So sitting up nice and tall, let's pause for a moment and close the eyes. Just check that you have no tension in the back of the neck so you can move your head and release any tension. Shoulders should be just dropped down a little bit, ribcage lifted, tummy a little bit firm. Let's spend a moment setting our intention for our yoga today. Do you want more flexibility? Do you want to be, get better at balancing? What is it that you'd like to do today? Once you've set that intention, now release it. Let's not focus on the outcome. Let's just let it go and sit. Sit beautiful. So let's bring our fingers out to the sides now, touching the fingertips down on the floor, lifting up the rib cage. We're going to do a breathing sequence. So breathe in, reach up, open the rib cage, palms together, breathe out, thumbs to heart center. Breathe in, reach the arms up, and breathe out, float the hands down. And again, beautiful. Breathe in, and breathe out. Breathe in, reach up, and breathe out. Lower the arms down. Let's do that three more times, and enjoy the stretch around the chest. Enjoy the reaching up of the arms, and the big breaths in, and out. One more time. Beautiful. Now turn your fingers into pincers and place your hands on your shoulders. Lift your elbows up to shoulder height and let's start to draw circles. Start with little circles and let's gradually make them bigger and bigger. And even bigger, so you tap your elbows together, reach them up to the ceiling, open them wide to stretch your chest, tap elbows together, reach up, stretch the chest. And one more time, nice big stretch. Bring your elbows to shoulder height again, and let's go the opposite direction. Starting with little circles, and let's continue to make them bigger and bigger. That's it, beautiful. Now, reaching up, tap elbows together, open the chest, reach the elbows up, tap together and open the chest. And let's try that one more time. Beautiful, wonderful for shoulder, shoulder mobility. Lift the elbows up again, we're going to tap the elbows together. Tap and open the chest. Breathe out, breathe in. And lower the hands down. Now we're coming into a child's pose. So let's swing the legs around to the side. Bring the toes together and the knees a little bit wider than the hips. Now slide your left hand just to the outside of your left knee and let's bring our chest a little closer to the floor, stretch the right arm out, lift, the, lift up onto the fingertips and thumb. You can place your forehead down and you can walk your fingers just a little bit further forward. Remember to keep your shoulders away from your ears, so draw them down towards your hips and let's stretch. You can stay on your fingertips if you wish to strengthen the fingers or you can flatten the hand down. You can even put your elbow on the floor if it's too intense for your shoulders. Let's take three breaths here. Now 
Now we're going to change over. So take your left hand forward, the right hand now comes to the outside of the right knee and forehead goes down. Stay up on fingers, palm flat, elbow down if you want to. Otherwise let's work a little bit more strongly with the elbow lifted. Take three breaths, right around the back where we're stretching. Okay, beautiful. Let's um, bring the hand down, slide the hand in. Okay, now I'm going to face you and sit on the tops of my feet. So I'm stretching the tops of the feet. Now if this is too uncomfortable for you, then lift up into a kneeling position, squeeze your buttocks, push your hips forward and switch your thighs on. We're going to do a cow face pose. Now I'm going to sit back down on my heels to do this. Lifting one hand up, Let's bend the elbow and lower the hand down. So if your shoulders are lifted, you're going to get this rounded look and chin to chest. So I want you to lift your spine up, your shoulders drop down, chin tucks slightly in, so your chin is parallel to the floor. We're looking forward with a nice straight spine. That's it, looking good. And let's take the other hand behind the back. Now, if you need to give your arm a helping hand, so this is our level two, don't feel pressured to do this one. You can stay in the previous position, but if you can manage this one, let's reach the hands down. Now, you might be able to reach your hands, you might not be able to. Just do what you can. Let's pause here for a few breaths. This is lovely because it works the shoulders. That's it, beautiful. Now we're going to release the arm, bring the other one from behind the back, and let's see if we can go up onto our toes. I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm taking my toes under and sitting on my heels. That could be uncomfortable. You might want to lift up onto your knees again, but remember, firm buttocks, firm tummy, and thighs. Now I will sit down on my heels, and let's do cow face pose on the other side. So reaching the left arm up, bend the elbow, Try to have the elbow pointing towards the ceiling if you can. And then push it back a little with your other hand. And if you want to, come into the full cow face pose. One elbow to ceiling, one elbow to floor. Shoulders are down, chest is lifted, chin slightly tucked in, checking that the back of the neck is comfortable. Let's take some breaths here to fill up your rib cage with air. And then release. Give your shoulders a little roll and then we're coming into cat. We're starting with the dancing cat. So knees under hips, wrists under shoulders, spread your fingers right out. Now slide shoulders towards hips as far as you can, tighten the tummy. You can walk your knees a little bit closer together. We're going to extend one leg back, breathe in, gaze up, breathe out, knee to nose. Now if you can't quite get your knee to your nose, just bring it in the direction of your nose. Let's try two more. This is a bit like a cat-cow pose, but with the leg extended. Okay, lower the knee down, we're changing sides. So breathe in, extend the leg back, lift, gaze up. So there's the back arch. Breathe out, tighten the tummy, bring knee to nose, and there's the arch in the back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Let's do that three more times. Last one. Place your knee down and let's pause in this position. Now, we're going to lift the knee out to the side. So, let's breathe in. Lift the knee to hip height. Try not to lean too much to your side. Try and keep your hands the way even through your hands. Breathe out to lower. You don't have to touch the floor completely. You can have your knees slightly lifted and breathe in, lift, breathe out to lower. Breathe in and out. Let's try two more. This is wonderful as a hip opener. It loosens up our hips. Beautiful. Next one, we're going to add our leg. We're going to extend the leg, so a little bit of strength work. So lift the knee, push through the heel, tighten the tummy. Okay, bend the knee and bring the knee down. And again, let's lift up, breathe out, kick, 
Breathe in, bend the knee, breathe out to lower. One more time. Breathe in to lift, breathe out to extend. Breathe in, bend the knee, breathe out to lower. We're going to do that on the other side now. So lift the knee to the side and lower. So you may not be able to see me quite so easily. Perhaps I'll turn around this side so you can see me more easily than you could. Okay, the other knee out, lower it down and lift and lower. Two more times, breathe in to lift, breathe out to lower and last time, lift and lower. We're going to add the leg. So let's breathe in, breathe out, kick through the heel, tighten the tummy, breathe in to bend, breathe out to lower. Two more times, breathe in to lift, breathe out, extend, breathe in, bend, breathe out, lower. Last one, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Okay, how did you go? Did you find that worked into your hips? It will. Now, um, we're going to tuck the toes under. So I'll stay facing forward and we're going to tuck those toes under, lift the knees up and come into a squat. Now, if you do not like squatting, you can just sit down in a butterfly pose in this position and that's fine. Otherwise, you're gonna join me in a squat. So widen your feet so the heels are in line with the sit bones. And let's bring the hands to chest in prayer. Now we're going to stand up and come back down about three times. So let's try that. Breathe in, lift up, push through your heels, squeeze your buttocks, breathe out. Bring yourself down again by drawing your navel into your spine. Let's do it again. Breathe in, reaching up and breathe out. Let's come down. Last time, breathe in, lift up and breathe out. Bring yourself down. Okay, beautiful. So let's push the knees a little wider, if you can, so one knee, then the other, and lower your wrists in line with the elbows. Let's take three breaths here. Okay, we're going to slowly rise up now. Beautiful. Lower the arms down and let's give those legs a shake. Okay, we're going to do sun salutes now. We've got four. So we're going to do two and then modify the sun salute. So I'm going to face sideways, bring my hands to my sides, and I'm going to bring my feet together, but I won't let the bones touch in my ankles or the fronts of my feet. So my legs are comfortable. Now, lift up the rib cage so you can feel the lower part of your spine lengthen. Squeeze your buttocks, tighten your tummy and your thighs. Lift shoulders to ears, roll them back, draw them downwards. Now don't pop your ribs out and arch your back. Pull your tummy in, flatten your ribs and your spine will be nice and long and tall. Tuck your chin in slightly, have your chin parallel to the floor and let your arms hang loosely. Stretch the fingers out, reach them to the floor. Well, let's pause here for a few breaths. Breathe around your rib cage. Try to count to three as you breathe in and three as you breathe out. How are we going with that detachment, non-attachment? Are we letting go in our mind and just enjoying our yoga practice? Let's take a deep breath in, sun salute, circle the arms back, squeezing into the buttocks, palms up and breathe out, forward fold. Flat back, breathe out, forward fold and step back to plank. We're going to pause here only for a moment. Breathe in, breathe out, plank to floor or knees and chest go down. In this way you save your shoulders. Breathe in, cobra now, elbows glued to the side of the body. Lift up, push through heels of hands, so you can even raise your fingers, lengthen through the arms. Tuck the toes under, lift the hips up, tighten the tummy, bend the knees a little bit if you get a twinge in your lower back. Okay, we're in our down dog, so we're just going to move from side to side, keep a little loose around shoulders and hips, and walk your heels up and down. Stretch your ankles and calves. So this is good to do if it's your first down dog. 
Okay, lovely. Let's lower the heels down now, tighten the tummy, lift the hips, come up onto the toes, the balls of the feet, and move your chest towards your thighs. You can rock forward and backward a little bit and then bring your chest to your thighs. Feel that lovely stretch in the arms, softness in the shoulders, and drawing the shoulders towards the hips to release around the neck. Let's take three breaths here. Now we're going to crouch, bend the knees, look between the thumbs. Step the right foot, then the left foot forward. Flat back, sorry, forward fold, chest to thighs, drop the head down, flat back, hands on shins or on the toes. So we can start with shins, draw the shoulders towards the hips, tight tummy, keep your knees soft and chest to thighs, forward fold. Sun salute, lift up. Breathe in, reach up and breathe out hands down to sides and back to chest in prayer deep breath in and out sun salute big reach up and swan dive forward fold chest to thighs flat back fingers on toes or if you're inclined to put the weight in your heels move your hands forward and move the body weight into the middle or the front of the feet and then forward fold chest to thighs Step back for plank. Now let's pause in our plank. If you need to put your knees down, put them down. Otherwise, I'm going to get you to squeeze your buttocks, tighten your tummy, draw shoulders towards hips, look in front of your fingertips and take three breaths. Okay, breathe in, breathe out. Down to the floor, breathe in, cobra. Lifting up, tuck toes under, lift the hips up, down dog. Adjust your feet in your dog. And just pause a moment in this position for a few breaths and then crouch, look between your thumbs. Step your left foot, right foot forward, chest to thighs in a forward fold. Then flat back. Breathe out, forward fold. And let's take a deep breath in. Sun salute, lift the arms up, breathe out, hands down to sides, back to chest in prayer, deep breath in and out. Now we're going to modify our sun salute, so breathe in, circle, arms back, squeeze your buttocks, reaching up, so palms are together, then push your hips forward, then as you breathe out, let the thumbs follow the face and the centre of the chest right down to the floor, chest to thighs, chin to chest. Flat back and breathe out, forward fold. Step your right foot back. We've got a low lunge, so lower the knee. Any knee issues, just keep the knee lifted. Flatten the foot, sweep the arms back. Lift them up, roll shoulders back, draw them downwards. Stretch your fingers out. Arms will just go back as far as your shoulders will allow. So you can test them out, see if your shoulders are loosening up a little bit. Take three breaths. And breathe in, breathe out, hands to floor, front foot back into plank. Pause, breathe in, breathe out, plank to floor, breathe in, cobra. And breathe out, down dog. Now let's just move from side to side, keep your dog a little bit loose. Now we're going to do a three leg dog, so step your feet together. Lift your right leg up, three leg dog. Now bring your chest towards your thighs, so you lengthen through your arms. Lift your legs straight up, don't do the rotation of the foot. Toes point to floor. Lunge your foot between the hands and step your back foot next to your, next to your front foot. Chest to thighs, now we've got a, a um, chair pose. So sweep the arms back, lift up so your chest lifts and you stay in chair pose. Now breathe in, lifting up. Big breath in, breathe out, hands down to chest. Deep breath in and out. I'm going to do that one more time. Breathe in, circle the arms back, squeeze your buttocks as your arms circle back. Palms together, lean back, hips forward, breathe out. Thumbs start to follow the contours of the face and down the centre of the body line. Chest to thighs, flat back. Big breath in, breathe out, chest to thighs. And step your left foot back, knee down, flatten the toes, sweep the arms back. Circle them up and draw the shoulders down. Beautiful. 
and draw the arms back just as much as your shoulders will allow. Lift the chin slightly, breathe into the front of the body, down to the belly. Breathe in, reach up, breathe out, hands down to floor. Tuck your back toes under, front foot back to plank. Pause here, breathe in, breathe out, plank to floor. Breathe in, cobra. And breathe out, tuck toes under, lift the hips, down dog. And pause in for a moment, in, down dog. Nice loose shoulders. That's it, beautiful, let's set the feet together. This time lifting the left leg up. Now try to keep the toes pointing to the floor. This is a little more challenging than rotating the foot and moving the hips, that's a hip movement. This is a buttocks movement. Bring chest towards thighs, lengthen the arms, tighten the tummy, and lunge your foot forward as you breathe out. Step the back foot next to front foot, and chest to thighs. Sweep the arms back, lift them up. Chair pose. Keep reaching up to the ceiling, palms together, thumbs to heart center. Let's take a deep breath in and out. Lovely, okay, give yourselves a shake. Beautiful. So hopefully you're a little bit warm now. Now we're going to do some plank and side plank. If you don't wish to do a side plank, do a gate pose. So I'm going to turn around and face forward again. Hands to sides, lifting up nice and tall. We'll start with sun salute. So deep breath in, sun salute. Firm buttocks when you do this one. Swan dive, forward fold. Keep the chest open as much as you can. Flat back, breathe in and lengthen. Breathe out, forward fold. Now you can jump or step your feet back to plank. Now from plank, we're going to roll to the side. So I want you to roll your heels to the side and lift your hand up. So now you're just naturally going to a side plank. If you have any shoulder issues, lower your knee down, Give your shoulder support. Put the weight evenly through your hand and your knee. If you can, lift the back leg up. So if you're in a side plank, you can also lift the top leg. It is quite challenging. Reach the arm over your head and stretch your fingers forward. Nice firm waist. Beautiful work. Okay, let's reach the arm up to the ceiling. Lower the foot down, come back into plank. We're going to do this to the other side. So lower the heels to the other side, lift the hand up. We're back in side plank. You can lower the knee down, always be mindful of shoulders. And if you can, move the body weight over the hand and the knee and back leg up. Firm butt squeeze in your buttocks, reach your arm up and then extend it over. Now draw your shoulders towards your hips when you actually reach your arm over your head. So you're working your back muscles and not your neck muscles. All right, let's lift the arm up again to the ceiling, lower the foot down, lower the hand down. From here, we're going into a frog. Now, let's bring the knees in. I want you to, I'll face forward so you can see me a bit better. So toes together, knees wide. Now, try to get your knees really wide. With your uh, child's pose, the knees are, you know, a hip width apart. But with this one, you've got really wide knees because we want to work into the groin, big stretch in the groin and the inner thighs. So modified frog only. So what we're going to do is walk the hands forward. Now this is where the stretch starts to happen, so be mindful of how you feel. Walk your hands forward, and we're going to lower the forehead down. Try to sit on your heels if you can. Now if your hips are up, it doesn't matter. Just do your best. You've got to start somewhere. And it just gets better from here. Okay, so now um, we're going to see how the hips feel. Now your elbows can be lifted or on the floor. So if the elbows are lifted, you work a little more into the shoulder blades. So how are those hips going? Does it feel a little bit like you're overstretching? If it does, let's slide those knees in a bit to take the pressure off the inner thigh. Go back down again and check if that is okay. If it's okay, then stay there for a few breaths.
All right, let's walk the hands back towards the hips. Now from here, we're going to bring our knees in a bit closer for our child's pose, so hip width apart. I will turn sideways because we're going to attempt a cobra. We'll start off with just doing a nice simple movement. This is a lovely one, good for mobility and shoulders. Okay, so let's um, stretch the arms forward, forehead down into child's pose. Now we're going to breathe in, lift up into cat and breathe out, squeeze the buttocks, drop the hips forward, draw the shoulders down towards the hips, gaze up. So now we're in our cobra position. So now tighten the tummy, squeeze the buttocks, pull the tummy up. Now I want you to round your back out so you're in a cat arch and we're going into angry cat so we're just going to keep that arch in the back and lean back a little. Now we can't maintain that and go into child's pose. So we're going to let go back into child's pose, flattening our back down again. Okay, let's do that again. Breathe in, cat. Breathe out, cobra. Breathe in, cat arching into that really big cat stretch and then try and sit down on your heels. Can you feel that stretch in the back? And then let's take a seat on the heels. Beautiful, let's do it again. Breathe in, cat. Breathe out, squeeze your butt, draw your spine up. Okay, lovely. And tight the tummy. Breathe in, the cat arch, and a big stretch around the shoulder blades. Come into child's pose. Now you can continue doing that movement from cat to cobra, or you can join me doing a spitting cobra. Have a look at this. Lower the elbows down and bring your nose almost to the floor. So slide your nose almost touching the floor. When your nose lines up with your thumbs, lift your elbows. Keep the elbows lined up with the ribcage, don't let them go wide. And we're going to end up in a cobra. Now we're not going to reverse that because it is very strong on shoulders. This is already very good for your arms and shoulders to build strength. The other way can be quite challenging, so let's leave that out. Pull the tummy in, arch into the back, nice big stretch. Angry cat, take a little seat, and then let's lengthen. Back down to child's pose, beating cobra again, drop the elbows. Lift the head slightly, let the nose follow the mat. Line the nose with the thumbs with the elbows. And here we go, oh, into Cobra. Beautiful work. And pull the tummy up, round the back, big arch in the back, angry cat. And child's pose. One more time, lower the elbows down, skim the nose along that floor. And lift up, nice work. Okay, one more angry cat, big arch in the back, almost sit down, child's pose. Lovely work. Breathe into your back. Have a short pause, a little rest. All right, let's lift up. Now this, uh, we're going to do some boat pose. So let's bring the feet around. Now I'll stay sideways so you can actually see what I'm doing. All right, so uh, let's take the hands behind the knees. Come up onto the toes and walk your toes a little closer to the hips. I want you to pull your tummy in. Okay, draw your shoulders down, lift your chest up, but don't arch your back. When I say lift your chest or ribcage, I mean draw it upwards to lengthen the spine, not to pop the chest, okay? The back should remain neutral. Nice long spine, no back arching. Okay, tummy in, shoulders down. So we will work in the front of the body the, into that um, uh, nice core area there. Okay, let's lift the feet up one at a time. Now for those people who feel quite comfortable extending their legs up and their hips are okay, stay there. Otherwise, if you work too much in your hips, the fronts of your hips then keep your legs at this position. Okay, extend the arms forward. All right, so this should be quite comfortable. Should be holding very firmly in the waist. No round backs, just try and keep nice length through the spine. Okay, beautiful, how are we going? Lovely, let's try a scale pose. Walk your hands down your legs. Hold the tops of your feet. Oh, this is a lovely balance. Start to lift your heels up. Now you're not trying to straighten your legs, but you are trying to get them a bit straighter than a bent knee. 
If you can only do bent knees, just stay in this position. Otherwise, you're going to pull your tummy in, round your back out, chin to chest. Lift your legs a little higher. And we're maintaining that balance. Now you should be feeling a nice big stretch around the shoulder blades and the arms. Tighten the tummy, keep it nice and firm. Hold your balance. Take three breaths. Okay, lovely. Let's bend the knees, place the heels down, extend the legs forward. Make sure you lift your hips up and sit down on your sit bones. Lean forward a little bit when you do that, so it puts your spine in a good position. So, um, if you sit bolt upright or lean back, you can't quite get your sit bones even. So let's lift up tall, bring your toes forward, breathe in, reach up, palms forward, breathe out, and let your hands land wherever. Shins are fine, I'd rather you have bent elbows. Okay, so I'll put my hands there just for the sake of having bent elbows. And that will keep your shoulders down and out of your neck. So pull your tummy in and let's bend forward. Now tuck the chin in slightly, lengthen through the back of the neck. Now we're going to lift up just the torso, so I don't want you sitting up. I want you to just lift up a little, look forward, and try to draw your shoulders to hips and lengthen the spine. You might have to lift a little bit up to get this length. Big breath in, breathe out, lean forwards. Now let's try that again. Breathe in, lengthen through the spine, and breathe out, bend forward. And that helps you get a better stretch. So now you can hold your toes, you can wrap your hands around your feet, but only if you can bend your elbows and keep your neck and shoulders soft. So I don't want to see this sort of thing. Um, I want the elbows bent and even drop down. So if you'll be able to drop your elbows to the floor, please do that. All right, let's take a walk with our hands back up our legs. And we're just going to have a little bit of fun. So bring your feet just back to the boat pose position. And uh, let's lift our feet up. We're going to roll back into a plow pose or dead man's pose, perhaps even tranquility pose. I don't even mind a rod pose. So I'll go through those positions just a, a little bit slower. I won't stop too long in each position, but I'll just show you what I'm talking about. So we're lifting the knees, the feet up into our boat pose. Now we're going to bring our arms forward, pull the tummy in, round the back out, chin to chest, and legs are in rod pose, so you can place your hands on the floor, or you can lift legs overhead, just rest your arms down. Now, you can go in a shoulder stand, or a, um, probably better to go in a tranquility pose, the one I'm in now, or drop the toes into the fingers, plow pose, or knees down the floor, dead man pose. This one's a bit strong in the neck, so you might want to miss it out. Okay, we're going to roll back again. So let's just let the weight of those legs plus up chin to chest and, oops, back to boat. That's it, that's all I want you to do. I'll move forward a bit. Okay, let's try it again. And have a little bit of fun. Don't take this too seriously. Okay, let's breathe in, breathe out chin to chest. And here we go, over into a plow pose, lovely and then whichever position you've chosen. Now as you come out, just let the body weight, just the weight of the legs of the torso pull you up, chin to chest, and you roll automatically up. So we want to have that nice balance in the end. It's a nice challenge for your core, and let's try it one more time, just to make sure that you've got it. Okay, breathe in, breathe out, round the back out. Okay, arms over the head, oops, toes, into the fingers, beautiful. And let's relax, chin to chest, and here we go, boat pose. Nice work. Let's lower the feet down. Just bring your feet forward and relax forward. All right, now we're going to try um, our drop our knees outwards and have a single leg lift. So we've got a nice wide leg uh, balance this time. So hold your big toes with your index and middle fingers. 
Now, if you don't like holding toes, you don't have to, just hold your feet. All right, so let's lift one leg at a time. Stretch the leg out. This is often a much better position to stretch legs. Big stretch, beautiful. And let's do one more. All right, let's try the balance. So bring your heels close to your hips, tighten your tummy, shoulders are down, don't get into this back arching thing, tall spine. Now slowly lift your legs up. Now I'm gonna hold my feet. Lift the legs up. That's it. Now, if you don't straighten your legs, it doesn't matter. So if you're nice and flexible, you'll be able to do that. Otherwise, if you straighten your legs and you're wobbly, you roll over. So to stay balanced, let's just have a little bend in the knees if you need to. Shoulders are down, rib cage is lifted up so the spine is long. Tummy's firm. Let's take three breaths here. Now we're going to lower one leg down, left leg down, the right foot, we've got a choice. Foot to thigh, sit tall. If you can, you're going to turn your leg around and come into hurdler's pose. Now your knee can be next to the other one, or you can bring it out wide for a bigger stretch in the hips. So lift your hips up, sit down, make sure you're on both sit bones. If you have this big lean to the side, consider putting your foot to your thigh instead. Okay, tummy in, now line your leg up with the centre of the chest, breathe in, lift tall, pull your tummy in and breathe out with a nice long spine leaning forward. When you get to that uh, 45 degree position, then you can pull your tummy in and round your back out a little. Again, you can hold your foot, but I want, to, want you to bend your elbows, so preferably elbows are on the floor, or just bend so the shoulders and neck are comfy. Chin to chest, lengthen through the back of the neck. Let's take three breaths here. Okay, lifting up and we're going to take our hand outside the knee, other arm behind the back. Now we're going to look at the fingers behind us for our twist. As we lean forward, we're going to slide the right hand up our leg so wherever it reaches, if it doesn't reach very far, stay where you are. Just a little bit stretching beyond your comfort zone. And you can hold the foot if you want to, but remember your shoulders need to stay away from the ears. Look at your fingers behind you. And we've now got a nice stretch in our back. If you're reaching your arm forward and holding your foot, you will find a stretch in your back. If you have softened your arm too much, you will miss that stretch. You've got a lovely twist in the spine. Let's breathe into it and a big stretch in the leg and working into the hip still. All right, let's lift up, bring that leg forward, give the legs a little shake and then bring the feet back into the butterfly position, butterfly pose position, holding your big toes again or holding your feet. Let's extend the legs up, stretching into those legs one more time. Okay, so let's stretch and lower. Stay with this if you can't do the balance. Okay, let's lift the feet up and off we go, balance. Shoulders are down, chest lifted, tummy in. Okay, now we're going to lower the right foot down. Left foot to thigh, if that's where it was last time. Otherwise, hurdles pose. And lift the hips up, sit down as evenly as you can on your sit bones. You might find one side works a little better than the other. So press ahead and do your best. Line your chest up with the center of your, the center of your chest up with your leg. Pull your tummy in and let's lean forward. So again, we're looking to have nice bent elbows, chin to chest, and if you're fortunate enough to be able to reach your foot or around your foot and lower your elbows to the floor, please do that. Big breaths. Okay, lifting up. 
Now taking the left hand outside the right knee, right arm goes behind the back. Look behind you at your fingers and then as you bend forward, slide your left hand and down towards your foot. See if you can get a stretch in the arm so we can stretch the back. Let's take some breaths here. lift up. Wonderful work. Bring your leg forward, skip the legs a shake. Now I want you to bring your heels nice and close to your hips. Now pull your tummy in. Now we're going to stand up. If you find this a little bit difficult to stand up this way, just stand up any way you can. So try and practice this and this will give you flexibility around your hips and make it easier for you to get up and down off the floor. Very important things to do when you get a bit older. So uh, let's bring the heels nice and close to the hips, tighten the tummy, turn the hands into fists. Now you have to round your back out to counterbalance the weight of the legs coming so close. Take the fist behind your back and lift your hips up. So leaning forward now, you can either straighten your legs and stand up or join me in a narrow leg squat. Okay, so now I'm going to lengthen just a little bit up and breathe in, reach up, reach up, reach up. Arms out to sides, back to chest in prayer. Deep breath in and out. Lovely. Let's lower the arms down, give the legs a shake. Now we're going to do a sequence. So you need to concentrate because we're changing direction. All right, so looking forwards, or I'm going to turn sideways, hands by sides, and I want you to just reflect on detachment. How are you going today? Are you a little bit happier during your yoga? Wonderful. All right, so let's stand nice and tall. Nice firm buttocks, firm tummy, and firm thighs. We have a sun salute. So let's take a deep breath in, sun salute. Lift the arms up nice and high, breathe out chair pose, pull the tummy in, bring the thumbs to heart centre. We're going to do a twist, so I want your hips to push back, tummy in, notice my knees are behind my toes. Now let's take the right elbow and leave, lift, leave it on the right knee, looking sideways. And then if you can, move the elbow to the opposite knee. Check your knees that they're nice and even, don't let one knee push in front of the other. Press the knees together for more stability. Lovely, if you want to work a little harder, elbow outside the knee, pull the tummy in. Bring the hands to center of chest, quite challenging. And let's pause here. Now reach one hand down, the other hand to the ceiling. Now with the bottom hand, you're going to take that outside your right foot. Step your right foot back into lunge, twist. So nice and stable, your one hand has replaced your foot and the other foot is in line with your other hip. Reaching up to the ceiling, let's take three breaths here. Now taking the arm reaching up, bring it to your knee, press the elbow on the knee, lower the back heel down and lift that right hand to ceiling. So now we're in a side angle pose. So nice firm buttocks, tummy firm, draw your shoulders away from ears. Now from here, we're going to reach our left hand down towards the floor and straighten our left leg. So now we're in a triangle pose. Squeezing the buttocks, tummy tight, tuck your tail between your legs. So little pelvic tilt forward and you can adjust your head position. So looking sideways, nice comfortable position. Perhaps look up to your thumb or down to the floor, whichever works for you. Check that you're not locking your front knee. Squeeze your buttocks to get your inner thigh working and rotate the thigh a little bit to the side. Okay, lovely. Now from here, we're going to bend the front knee, coming to a, a proud warrior. Lift the hand up, shoulders down. Line your arm up with your nose. 
Gaze at the palm or the arm. That will be determined by your neck. If your neck is comfortable lifting up, we'll do that one. Otherwise, just look forward. Breathe into your belly. Now float your hand down onto your hip and let's heel toe the back foot just a bit closer so we can rotate the hips forward. So both hips need to face forward. And sometimes, um, not everybody can have big wide legs doing this. So just the widest legs as you can manage to get your hips forward. All right, so let's breathe in, lifting up the, left, uh, the right arm, breathe in, pull the tummy in, reach forward, push your hips back, and then bring that hand outside the left leg. Now pull the tummy in, squeeze the buttocks together, rotate through the rib cage. If you can rotate enough, lift your hand to the ceiling. If your arm is going to the side, just place your hand on your hip, it's okay, and it's better for you. So your shoulder won't feel like it's in the wrong position. All right, let's have a few breaths here. Now remember that reverse positions are generally a little bit more challenging than our normal triangle position. Now circle your arm back to your hip, bend your front knee, take your hands to chest, back foot next to front foot, now lift up your rib cage so you're in chair pose, so your chest needs to face forward, tummy firm. Breathe in, reach up to the ceiling, and breathe out, hands back down to sides, back to chest, deep breath in and out. All right, let's start that again, sun salute, and swan dive, forward fold. Bend those knees, shoot those arms up to the ceiling and bring hands to chest in prayer. Now take your left elbow on your left knee, check your knees are even, look sideways. If you can, level two, take your left elbow onto your right knee. Then if that's comfortable, level three, elbow outside the knee, tighten the tummy, rotate. Take three breaths here. One hand to ceiling, one hand to floor. Take the hand to floor outside your left foot. Step the left foot back into lunge twist. Take three breaths here. Now take your top arm, bend the elbow, rest the elbow on the knee. Flatten the back heel down, press the elbow into the knee and lift your torso. Rotate your torso sideways, lift your hand up, side angle pose. So don't have the shoulders up here, draw them down. That's it, squeeze the buttocks, tighten the tummy, reach your hand up. Now we're going to extend that arm to the floor. Nice straight arms, then straighten the leg, keep the knee unlocked. There we are, into triangle, buttocks firm, thigh rotated forward. So we're getting a stretch on the inner thigh. Now bend the front knee, windmill the arms into, uh, into Proud Warrior. Pick the same position as you did last time and remember to keep your shoulders down. down to your hip, heel toe your back foot a bit closer, then rotate your hips forward. Okay, beautiful. Squeezing your buttocks together, tight tummy, lift that left hand up, breathe in, breathe out, push hips back, reach arm forward, nice long spine. And continue forward, tighten the tummy, round the back out. Now, tail under, little, tighten the tummy, tuck the tail under, rotate through the rib cage. And let's see if we can lift that hand up or just keep it on your hip. Just a personal preference. Remember, front knee doesn't lock. Okay, lovely. Now circle your top arm back to your hip, bend your front knee. Step your back foot next to your front foot, hands to chest in prayer. 
lower your hips a little, chest lifts, breathe in, reach up, breathe out, hands to sides and back to chest. Deep breath in and out. Lovely. Now we're going to go back down to the floor. So you can either go back into your wide squat or you can stay in the narrow squat. So let's take a deep breath in, sun salute. And breathe out, bring the hands down to the chest. Coming back into that little crouch position, drop your chin down. Now take your hands into this, place them behind you and sit down. Beautiful. Let's just pause here for a moment, have the legs wide and rest forward. Breathe into your back. So let's do some balances to finish. Okay, so we're going to take the right foot back. That's it. And let's take a deep breath in. So you should be unstable in this position. So pointing through the ball of the foot, breathe in, lift the arms up, breathe out, hands to chest, tighten the tummy and lift the leg up. Floating the leg up into our uh, hip height if you can. Thumbs to heart centre, tighten the tummy, shoulders head towards hips. Now lower your foot down next to the other one. Bring the knee up, we're changing legs, hands behind the knee. You can hold the big toe or the foot and extend the leg forward. Other arm out to side or just the hand on the hip. Shoulders are down, tummy is in, spine drawn tall. Let's take three breaths. Then float your foot down and float your hand down. Let's try that on the other side. Step the other foot back, squeeze the buttocks. Breathe in, arms overhead, breathe out, hands to chest, and float your leg up into a warrior three. Five toes point to the floor, navel drawn up towards spine, nice and firm, shoulder blades flat on the back. Three breaths. Lower your leg down. Next to the other one, change feet. Roll your other foot forward, tighten the tummy, lift the leg, hold the back of the leg, hold your toe or foot, come into a forward wing pose. Hand can be out to the side or on the hip. Stand tall. Take three breaths. Beautiful. Let's bend that knee, place the foot down. Okay, we're going to bring ourselves down to the floor. So deep breath in, sun salute. You can have your legs wide in a wide squat. Breathe out. Bring yourself down. Wrap the arms around the knees. Turn your hands into fists. Place your hips down. Bring your feet forward. Let's bring the hands behind the knees. Breathe in, lifting up, lovely and tall. Breathe out. Pull the tummy in, round the back out. Walk the hands down the backs of your legs and take a lie down. Now let's bring the knees to the chest and if you can lift them up to the ceiling. Tighten the tummy, draw it down, shoot through the heels up to the ceiling. So let's just bring the arms to the sides or hold the backs of legs if you need to. Rotate your ankles. Let's give them a little treat and then back around the other way. Lovely, bring the knees down to the chest, bring them wide, drop the knees inwards, or bring the soles of the feet together, drop the knees outwards. Press the elbows in the floor, lift shoulder blades up, hug them together, place the back down, and bring your left hand on your heart center, right hand on the belly. Breathe into the belly.
Now, if you like, you can extend your legs. Remember to roll your knees and your feet outwards. You can bring your arms to your sides. Shoulder blades flat if you can. Keep that chest open. Chin slightly tucked in. Just let your body relax. Keep your teeth apart, jaw soft, soft face, soft neck and shoulders and arms. Nice and soft around the belly and hips, right down the legs to the toes. Now you can stay in this relaxation position for 5, 10, 20 minutes. Just turn off the video. Otherwise stay and join us. Just moving your fingers and toes. Bring your breath down to your belly. And walk your feet to the end position and roll your knees to the side. Let's rest on our side for a couple of breaths. And lift yourself to a seated position, just resting hands on knees or in the lap. Lower your hands to sides, lifting them up above the head in prayer as you breathe in and breathe out, thumbs to heart centre. Take three deep breaths, breathe down to the belly, bring your breath up to your ribcage, into shoulders, into your back and breathe out. And again, breathe into the belly, into the rib cage, shoulders and back, and breathe out. Take one more deep breath in and out at your own pace. Have a peaceful heart and a peaceful mind and a wonderful day. Namaste. So I hope you enjoyed applying detachment to your yoga today. Did you learn something? Do you feel happier and more relaxed? And did you enjoy your yoga much more? Try applying it to your life also. Enjoy the rest of your day. Namaste. Join me again. If you like the video, press like now, make a comment. Subscribe to my video and get further updates.